Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Oracle. In this multi-part screencast series, I'm showing you how NetBeans 6.9 provides comprehensive tooling around Java EE 6 and Glassfish 3. So far in part one, we saw how you can create a simple Java EE 6 application very easily using NetBeans 6.9. Part two showed how you can access values from a database table using JPA2 entities this part is going to focus on how you can enable Java Server Faces 2 support in your existing application and use facelets to create a simple web application. Let's get started. Let's switch to our IDE. Now this is the application that we have built so far. So right click on this application, click on properties, select frameworks, and first of all add support for Java Server Faces framework. Click on that select OK. You can use the library that comes bundled with um, the Glassfish runtime itself or you can configure some new libraries as well. Click on OK and this is going to add support for Java Server Faces in your project. Now once that's done, let's start creating our template pages using facelets. Now since I don't want my template pages to be visible to the external world, I'm going to create a folder in WebNF and call it as templates. In my templates folder, I'm going to create a template. New, and this is a new faceless template. As you can see, there are several designs that are available. Let's name our template first, call it as template. This is a CSS based template, and I'm going to choose a simple template with a header, a content, and a footer. So click on finish. And our template looks like this. You know, it has certain CSS references over here, a top part, a content part, and a bottom part. Let's add some stuff to the top part. Let's call it as super cool app. And if we want, we can actually put that in an H1. And here, we can actually add a couple of line breaks. And then say, powered by Glassfish and NetBeans. Okay, let us save it. Now let's create a couple of pages that are going to use this template and display some meaningful value for us. So right click here, say new, and this time I'm going to create a facelets template client. Let's call it as an input page, which is going to accept input in a text box. And it requires us to specify a template. So we're going to point to the template that we just created. It's going to use my template.xhtml, select it, and the root tag is going to be an HTML. So click on finish. And my template is pre-populated here. So the page is automatically saved. Now let's go to the browser and try to access this page. So here we say faces input.xhtml. And when we try to access the page, it just shows us top, content, and bottom. In the IDE, you can see top, content, and bottom is coming from here. Now, let's see the magic of facelets and templates. So I remove top and I remove bottom sections from here. Save the page here again. Go back to my browser and refresh it. Automatically, the sections that are not defined in my child page or template client are inherited from the template. That's the power of the facelets in Java Server Faces 2. Now in terms of content, what we're going to do is um, add a form here, which is going to accept some input. So we go down here, and I have a template ready for you. This is the H colon form. First of all, let's resolve the input. So we fix the namespace prefix. It's a form with a panel grid, you know, and takes a name, okay? Um, now it requires us to define the welcome beam, so let's do that. Right click, new Java class, call it welcome, put it in the package beans, click on finish. In this class, I'm going to add a couple of simple attributes, add their getters and setters. And I'm going to add annotations to this class. 
I'm going to pick this annotation from the JSF package. Now this class could be a CDI bean class as well, but we're going to cover that in a different screencast. So for now, let's keep it for the JSF manage bean and make this class as a request scoped. So let's resolve that import too. And there you go. And in terms of message, um, instead of just returning the message as is, what I want to do is make it hello plus name. Okay. So now let's go back to our input.xhtml. We have added some text over here. Let's see what our browser shows how the page looks like. So in my browser, I say faces input.xhtml. And so my page looks like this. You know, the header and the footer and the text box and the submit button. Now back in our IDE, you see the command button um, takes a value of action show. What that means is when this button is clicked, the faces runtime, which is in the Glassware server, is going to look for a view by the name show. And view is show.xhtml file. So let's create that show.xhtml file. Right click, create a new faces, facelets template client, call it show, pick it from a template, and finish it off. As in other cases, remove the header and the footers. And this time again, we have a code template. Let's remove this redundant code over here and resolve the import too. So this show.page is going to take the name from the previous page. That, that is going to be get fed into my um, JSF manage bean and is going to display the message basically saying hello plus name what was entered in the previous page. So let's save the page here. Go to our browser and see if the magic works. So let's go to our browser. And in the browser, we're going to refresh the page one more time. I'm going to type my name, hello to Arun. Click on submit. And there you go. So we just built a very simple JSF application. You saw the power of facelets templating language, um, JSF managed beans, and things like that, and how you can enable JSF in an existing application. All in all, a very simple, um, very friendly user experience. Let me leave you with some references now. You can download Glassfish from glassfish.org. You can download NetBeans from netbeans.org. Any Java, any Glassfish questions, please feel free to um, shoot a question or uh, post a thread on Glassfish forums. And follow us on Twitter at Glassfish handle. Thank you.